dude. So I feel something coming. Oh, oh, I see. Right. This is how this is going to be, is it? I am not a political man. Well, well, well. What would Buck and Billy Ray be doing today? Friends, I got it. It's a sewing kit. Okay, you see how these buttons are sewn on here, friends? There's a trick to this. This is a, a trick that I was taught by a Greek tailor. Marino. Marino is the tailor. So friends, if you wanna know a couple little tricks to, to sew your buttons onto your pants. So, so friends, let's talk about this for just a sec. Let's talk about this. Hey, listen, for starters, friends, thank you all so much, again, for the warm comments. I, I, I don't wanna be noise, I've said this, but our world is a, is a very interesting place now. And, uh, but anyways, never, never mind that. I, I, just, I just believe that if you, if you look at whatever job you're doing as you want, you want to do the best you can, you chose that job. No one forced you to go to that job. No one forced you to do it. You chose to get that job there. So why not show who you are at that job? Show them who you are. Get it going. Because it's your choice. It's your choice to be there. So, uh, yeah, I, I, got, I got, I remember getting told to slow down lots. Slow down, Buck, and you're making us, you know, not, they wouldn't say that, but they'd say, hey, slow down, bud. You're going too fast. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Okay. So, friends, um, our suspenders. We're getting a couple of questions from people. I'm not going to sell you um, bachelor buttons. I'm not going to do it. And the reason I'm not going to do it is because I don't believe... You know what we're going to do? We're going to go with this. I think the natural light's a little bit better today, friends. It's a little darker, but I'll turn the light on when I show you what we're going to do here. I'm actually going to show you how I sew buttons on to my pants for my suspenders because the pre-order's still uh, open till the 28th. I think it's the 23rd today. It is. It's the 23rd. And uh, my mom taught me to sew when I was a little punk, a little kid. And uh, the first thing I do and I am going to turn that light back on now because I want you to see what I'm doing here. See this? Once you thread your needle, I double the line up. See it there? Is that showing up, friends? I, I hope so. I double it. See? Double. Make it double. Take it down to... There you go. Oh, is that my boy in his new truck? Oh, it is. Oh, the high road. So, friends, go this is Hogan's uh, 2018 Lariat full load. He's uh, he's working like mad. He's got a great job in camp, climbing trees, and uh, he needed a new ride. So, we're pretty happy for him. Did you see that, dude? I gotta go. We'll see. We'll we'll see what they do. Now, this is what I do. I make a. I make a. I put a little pup of spit on the fingers. I lay that across there like this. My mom taught me this. I literally wrap this around so it crosses over like this. Okay, like that. See that? And then I go like this. I roll and I pull and guess what happens? Yeah, you guessed it. There's a knot in there. So that's that. That's what I do. Now I grab a button. This is what I do. Hey, boy. Good, you. So, friends, I turned the camera around, and I want to show you a trick. Okay, I know, I know, this is a an interesting thing. But who am I if I'm going to sell you a set of suspenders and tell you that? 
you know, it's up to you if you want to get bachelor buttons. Bachelor buttons are, are fine and, and they're and they're great. And I've used them for years, like like years. And I've also sewn my buttons on. And and I gotta be honest, this is the best way to go for slick, for not tearing your buddy's seats up or 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 even getting in your back, you can sometimes, you know, those little, no, you know what I'm talking about, friends, the lower back stuff. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm just going to take this. Did I break it or did I break the? No, good. Okay, there. So so there's a fairly, sorry, friends, that's a fairly skookum button. It's a good button. It's five eights. Okay, we're going to, we're going to size or, or have on hand buttons for your suspenders. Okay, so, so there it is. It's off. Friends, it's quite a bit of... Okay, so this guy did... Look at this. Look at all this thread, okay? There's a lot of thread here. Look at that, okay? Friends, I've sewn so many things through the years, you, you, you wouldn't even want to believe it. And so is my wife for me. See that? You just picked that out of there. There it goes. There's another bunch of thread, like lots, okay? So there it is. She's clean. Clean as a whistle. Pretend this is your waistband, Okay? Get your freaking, I showed you the knot already, right? So place it where it comes, right? Come through the bottom. Doesn't matter which hole you grab, you just, you're going to grab one. See? Okay. Up you come. Hi, son. Hey, how's it going? Good. See what's going on, friends? Now, just crisscross, whatever. Try and keep it centered. You know what I mean by centered, friends? Like, this is what I mean. So there's the next one, right? See here? So go right back in, right? Like this. Find a hole. There it is. Boom. Okay? Out she comes. Give her a squeak. Sometimes these, when they're doubled, like this one, See how it's not there. It's not pulled tight. There we go. Now it is. Make sure both are, are tight and there's no loose. This is already snug with like one, one thing, friends. Okay. Okay. Let's put this down here like this. See? Make sure you grab these individually. And this is just how I do it, friends. This is just me. Not, not everybody. Okay. Okay, so now we're through here. We come in here again. Here. Come through. There's our next hole. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Where does that end up? Pretty dead square. Pretty dead square. Okay, and she comes. So friends, you may sit there wondering what what is this man doing well friends i grew up with a single mother who was busy cleaning toilets singing doing whatever she had to do friends we just had another set of suspenders just as i'm doing this video if that was you it is 8 28 wednesday morning january 24th and we just had someone purchase a set of suspenders i saw the freaking uh the notification come up. Listen, friends, there's been a ton of thought go into this stuff. And this is why I'm doing these little videos for you to explain that this is how I've done this for years. And you can have a seamless, seamless suspender situation. It buttons is the best way to go. So this isn't brain science, friends. You just find your way through, get a nice crisscross growing. There's four holes in the button, right? So you'll see me just going through here. If that was you, Thank you. Thank you to all our uh, friends that have purchased the suspenders. You're going to love it. I, I know it's going to be true. You're, you're going to love these suspenders. I'm excited for you, actually, and I want to know how you feel when you get them. So, um, yeah, they're natural. The edges are finished, not painted. Some people have a different idea of what edge finishing is. It's just, it's, they're nice, natural. So, you'll see what I do here, but there's a trick I show you. And that's to go around the button, and I'm going to show it to you here right now. Okay, friends, so, so you can see what's going on here. I'm just going to voice over this a little bit because there's no, I'm, I'm concentrating, there's no conversation. But again, 
friends, we've sold, I think, about 50, stairs, uh, 50 sets of suspenders. For what? And I cannot thank you folks enough for holding up your end of the deal. This was a pre-order sale. It was a product that you folks asked for and we developed. I developed. It's my design with help of, of Homestead brand, uh, Christine. And, and we're just, you know, we're doing this for you guys. So it makes us very happy when you respond. Now, this is where we get into something I want to show you, friends. This is the final little, like it's sewn on there solid. But there's a trick I do here now. I'm going to explain it to you here. Watch what happens. The one that I like the best for this. This is fine the way it is. And then and now I'm at the bottom here. So I would, I would just do a couple like tied knots. But that's not what I'm going to do. Watch the trick. We're going to come in here. But we're not coming through the button this time. We're going to come in like, show you this. I want you to see this right here. There it is. See it? See the needle? We come in just underneath it and then we pull this up like this, friends. And then this is the magical trick. This one, you go around two, three, four, five. See that? I wrapped around the button. Now, now I come up through the hole. See, I just come up through the hole right? Then go back down, whatever, go down any hole you want like that. You could even do a couple more just to make it all, you know, maybe one or two more. Boom. Now let's finish it like this. Mom, Sherry Lynn Smith, you incredible human being who had to be my father, my mother, my friend. You've given me so many great gifts and I love you dearly. Thank you, mom. Friends, here's how I finish it. Yes. So I just call this securing it. And all it is, friends, is a couple of half hitches. You know what I mean? Just tie it, tie a couple of knots in her to close it off and leave it. When you snip it, you know what to do. Just leave a couple of little hairs friends. hanging there. See what I'm doing? I'm actually tying knots. I'll go like this sometimes. One, two, and I'll crank it like that. It's over. This button. Dang. Done. That's it. All right, friends, just a last little, uh, I mean, it, 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 I like wrapping that around like that. It makes it kind of easier to get a hold of, easier to slip into, and just strengthens it up, in my opinion. That old Greek tailor, old Marino, he was quite a guy. Turn on. Boom. Turn on. I turned you on on the other side this time. Friends, thanks for watching. This was fun. Uh, could you imagine five years ago, bucking, showing you how to sew a button on? Don't think so. Crazy, eh? I love it. I absolutely love it. Do you know, friends, that I, I don't know if there's so many little things in 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 life going that that man. Here's a couple situations. I'm talking to the fellers, I'm talking to everybody, but I always say that. But but little things like knots. What about when you're first guy on the crew? You're on the you're on the ground. You got a climber. You got a, a and and somebody throws you down a rope and says, "Hey, tie this on for me." Or send this up for me. And you get the thing. Well, first of all, the first time halfway up the tree, it falls back down to the ground and hits the ground. And he's scuffing around and, and you're trying to tell him how to. There's one thing. Knots. Learn how to tie knots. Learn how to sew. Right? The sheet spin to tie two ropes. To, just there's so many of these little things in life that is going to help our self-esteem going forwards, fellas. As young men. As young men. Learn knots, Le learn three knots, the bowline, the clove hitch, and the running bowline. Just, just learn two or three knots. They'll pull you out of the bite. They'll help your life exponentially ropes and, and, and small sewing, sewing a button on. Just these little things. And if no one shows, a, shows us these things, when the opportunity in life comes up where you could be the, 
be the fellow that stands up and says, hey, give me that, I'll fix that. Instead, you go, ooh, ooh, I'm busy over here. I don't want nothing to do with that because I don't know how to do it. Fellas, <laughs> they're simple tasks, but if we don't know, it's like filing a freaking power saw. I had guys come up to me at Bunyan, grown men in their 50s with tears in their eyes, shaking, going, thank you. Thank you so much, like, for helping me, you know, file my power saw. <laughs> it's like that small task, because running saw is one thing, but when you hit a rock, what happens now? Well, people are looking at you and we're not cutting anything, so what are, what are we going to do, fellas? Oh, hey. Take a couple of secs, give me that little flat file there and that freaking round file and let's get at this sucker. And get her done and get cotton and cotton. So I just think a lot of fellas are scared to ask for certain little things or they don't know things and it's tough on their self-esteem. It's tough on their self-esteem. So just learn knots, guys. Learn knots, gals, everybody. And learn how to sew. Sewing is a, is a big craft. Uh, yeah. But anyways, the suspenders, the first batch of Buck and Billy Ray suspenders, the Buck Spenders, we call them. That actually sounds funny, but that's what we call them, the Buck Spenders. The first batch ends in about three days, four days. On the 28th is the last day if you want to get on the first batch. Um, obviously, you know, the second one will be longer from now because you got to get the side of beef and you got to do all that. And the, you know what I mean, friends? That's why we did the pre-order because we wanted to, like I say, assess the damages at the end and see what we got in front of us. And then we can kind of, excuse me, make make steps going forward. So thank you all so much. Uh, BuckandBillyRay.com if you want to order the suspenders or the belt. Uh, and I just wanted to do a heads up and let folks know that that's kind of what's happening. The 28th is the last day. And thank you to all those who have already ordered them. You're going to freaking love them. Any other questions about the suspenders, like where to put the buttons or anything, anything, just hit me. Hit me in the freaking comments. Let's get this thing rocking. Friends, I dropped a starter in Rita's truck yesterday. Friends, I got it. Okay, that one's tight. I, I feel some, I feel, I feel something coming, friends. I, I don't know what it is. I've been on a, on a lower level uh, recently and, I, and I've been waiting and waiting and, and something's happened. Something's happened. Something in Canada has happened. I don't know if you feel it in the States, but we've definitely felt it here. Yesterday, I am not a political man. I'm not. <clears throat> but when I feel... The vibration of the of, of the of the country, the uh, the frequency come up. I do. I feel it. I feel it in the actual energy in the world. I feel it. So yesterday was a big big day for for Can uh, Canadians and Canada Canadians. Uh, it was a big day for 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 many folks here, um, and and this country actually. And as you know, most of you know, I don't, I don't get into the, the politics and current events or religion or any of that stuff here. We just don't do it. Uh, but I will tell you this. It's time for me to go because I've said enough. I'm so grateful for this freaking community. And when I, start, when I got underneath that truck and was able to actually move my arm in certain areas that I haven't been able to, I was, I was feeling quite good yesterday getting that starter going. So anyways, Hogan's off to camp. He's got his new truck. He's excited as heck. As heck. Uh, it's going to be a good year, friends. Thank you all again for watching. BuckandBillyRay.com is where you can get the suspenders until the 28th for the first run. And we're on, we're on course for what we said within six weeks. Like we're on course. We got the dies. Thanks to Homestead Brand. Thanks, fellas. Nathan, Joey, and Grant. Good fellas. Ripsaw. Friends, we're setting up a beginner's kit. I think I talked about this the other day. We're setting up rope sizes, uh, flip line. We're going to set up a little package that if you're a beginner climber or you're just starting out in the industry, even if you're an older guy and you want to get something to kind of cover the basis, the basics, 
We're in the process of doing that. Me and Eric are working on that right now. Go see the boys at Ripsaw if you need anything to do with your power saws, your ropes, your climbing gear, wedges, all that stuff. Chain, raker gauges, or a ported power saw. Anyway, Ripsaw, thanks again. We love you. Uh, over and out, friends. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. Dude. <gasps> yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there.